Hey, welcome to Stuff with Hal Baum. My name's Hal Baum, and this is Stuff. Tonight we're talking to Sophia Banzov. Is that what I'm pronouncing that? Banzov. And we're going to be talking about spirituality. I'm going to put five minutes on the clock. While I do, why don't you tell me the five more, five most spiritual places you've ever been to? The five mo- oh. See, that's, a, that's an interesting question. That's a good question because it isn't about the place you go. Right. Like, that's true. There are, like, places that are, like, technically spiritual. Yeah. Like the Wailing so. Wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's technically. It's a yeah. well Or there are places that place. are, like, known to, like, attract, you know, saints or whatever. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, I don't think I've been to any of those places. And I don't... I mean, I went to the Baha'i Temple yesterday. Mm. Um, here. In, oh yeah, here it's like right Hawaii. on the beach, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, I heard about that. So I mean, you know, that was, I guess, a spiritual place, sure. but I didn't feel especially bonded to it. Yeah, I didn't feel like especially like moved to mm. some kind of higher. Yeah, some feeling. moment of right. yeah. No. Where is a place that you felt that way? Uh, usually when I'm just like outside walking. Mm-hmm. In a city, <laughs> mm. or like when I'm out drinking, mm. <laughs> like actually, in I know city? that sounds crazy, but no, like, no. or like when I when I see really good art, mm. uh, like a good play or something, mm-hmm. um, or when I'm just like alone in my bedroom, <laughs> like yeah, I <laughs> that's mean, true. Uh, the bedroom uh, is a very is a spiritual place in a way yeah or like what about like a natural place like a waterfall oh Would that absolutely do it for you? totally yeah. like walk like out just like being outside mm, hiking yeah hiking yeah but you know what though like those are like peaceful moments mm-hmm. but they're not like i don't know they feel sometimes they feel a little bit contrived like i don't know i sometimes feel like oh now i have to connect with oh nature because or you're out there and because you're, I'm out, you're supposed yeah. that's what you're supposed to do you're like look that's at this tree like ralph waldo <laughs> emerson tells you to do <laughs> Exactly. So right. it's not even then. It's like in kind of unexpected moments, I mm. think. Or like, you know, meditation is a good place right. to start too. Mm. What is your mantra? Um, what is my mantra? Do you um, have one? Yeah, uh, I don't think I have. I think mm. it changes sort mm. of day to day. Mm. Um, I, I Usually a mantra is these days everything is working out for me. These days, everything is no, working no, out for me. No, no, not these days, oh, but like, that's oh. my mantra. <laughs> my mantra is everything is working out that's for me. That's a good mantra. It's a good mantra. It really makes me feel relaxed mm. and um, treat other people better <laughs> mm. because I'm not like so stressed about everything. Right. That's a huge thing. Like I'm such a stressed, anxious person, or I was a very stressed and anxious person, and mm-hmm. that's really allowed me to like be more present to people mm-hmm. around me. Mm. And, that's good. Yeah. So what do you do when you meditate? You just... <clears throat> You sit. It's walk me. Th- walk me through. The I don't process. really. I don't even meditate that much. The basically the process is yeah. I, I usually, I usually lie down, because <laughs> I often drift off into sleep mm-hmm. while I'm doing it, and I really, I really like that. I feel like, you know, a lot of like I feel like when you meditate, a lot of people are like sit upright and like mm-hmm. so you try not asleep. to sleep. Yeah. yeah, but I like it. It's like mm. a really nice way to fall asleep. Um, so I usually like sometimes I do like visualizations. Um, but I don't know. It really, it really depends. Like I sometimes imagine like all my chakras like opening or Mm. like, I especially imagine like my heart chakra, um, kind of like opening opening and there's this like light that like comes in. And Mm. I sometimes imagine like this, like light pouring into my crown that's Mm. like contains like lots of information that I don't really that's not like verbal it's just kind of like i'm just sort of like taking it and then mm. and it makes me feel good <laughs> <laughs> i can see that uh, and then sometimes i'll have like insights like the mm. day after that i that came out of nowhere i don't mm. know it's pretty cool like <laughs> sounds great yeah i know it's pretty cool but, but i think it's you know it's not really like magic or anything right. it's just like well, you're sure. just open you just more open to information or like you're more open to your own intuition mm, and, like reflection and yeah. So what are the different mm. chakras? I don't know anything about that. I don't actually know like too much about chakras, but mm. I don't really work with chakras. Like, mm. but, um, so basically you have one in your, in your, your root chakra, mm-hmm. um, in the, like the base of your spine. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you have the, uh, sacred. 
chakra. <laughs> Keep going. Don't worry about it. And then you have the, like, they all basically contain different things. Like, um, like your root chakra is where, like, your, like, like feelings around your home, mm. like s- security, mm-hmm. um, sexuality, because mm-hmm. it's like close to your genitals. And then <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where your genitals are. <laughs> Mine are on the front. <laughs> and then your like sac- your sac- your sacrum, I think, mm. has like um, self worth issues, etc. And then mm-hmm. you just go up basically like to your solar plexus, heart, throat you know, throat being, like, self-expression, et cetera. Yeah. Um, your third eye, which is, um, I think, like, intuition, mm-hmm. things like that. And then your crown. Mm-hmm. I'm not really sure what that's for, but... It's um, cool. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, it's cool. cool. It's that's cool. It's really interesting. And <laughs> when you really, like, kind of meditate on it, you can feel mm-hmm. them spinning. Like, it's really weird. It's really weird. Like, I never really, like, bought into all this stuff. Mm-hmm. But, like, the past few years, I've really, like, experienced it. Like, I, like, had so many experiences with it that mm-hmm. were just so freaky to me that mm-hmm. I was, like... Oh, it's like, real. There's something to this. And uh, and even if there isn't, like, it's really helping me in my yeah. life. So I think that's really what matters the yeah. most. Yeah, whatever works. If it works for you and if it's not hurting anyone, I think that's, like like enough for me to like be like cool like i'm gonna try this i'm gonna like practice this and work with this yeah that makes sense yeah that's good yeah well uh that's been five minutes talking to <laughs> sophia bonshoff is that yeah, right is that's that better right. yeah is that better? that's okay. good <laughs> about spirituality um is there anything else you want to say about it anything at all anything I mean, you want to say yeah, about I, anything I, I ever do, i do want to say something about it i think um you know everyone has their own practice mm-hmm. And it really, like, like you have to kind of develop your own. Like, it can mean anything. It can, you know, spirituality is such a broad kind of term, and right. a lot of people are afraid of it. Mm. But it really is just about, like, what makes you feel healthy and good and, and, and what makes you feel, like, what gives you relief and what mm. gives you a sense of peace. Mm. And those are, like, practices that, that do that for me. And I think it's really worth looking into what... what um, does that for you? Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. Right. So find your own peace. <laughs> find your own spirituality. <laughs> try meditating. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Try meditating. I've never tried it. I'm gonna try it. <laughs> cool. Someday. <laughs> Not tonight. I gotta sleep. Well, maybe I'll meditate into sleep. Exactly. Yeah. That'll be there fun. There you go. That'll be fun. That'll be fun. Well, that's been five minutes. Uh, thank that's you good. for talking. Thanks for having me. Thanks, Thanks for listening. Good. And as always, thank you and that's good night. Good. So long. I was spending my days with my demons, yeah They had taken up inside of my heart They were trying to keep me entertained They were tearing me apart But my memory, she was packing, yeah And I knew that you would never come back She handed me and then she vanished in the black And the letter said, these are what you make of them, these are what you make of them